I know these videos are late, but I had to wait till the event ended because the zone's a bitch and they keep doing false copyright claims on my videos. With that being said, look, man, Martin Bacoli completely annihilated and exposed the real big baby, Jared Miller. Like, this, this was a funny fight. Before I get into it, hit the thumbs up, sub, and notification bell that we get updated when I drop the newest content like this. With that being said, let's get into the fight breakdown. So, I've been saying for a very long time, I did not think Jared Anderson had a chin. I've said it repeatedly through lives I've done, videos I've done in the past. I did not believe he had a chin because I've seen this motherfucker rocked and stumbled by lesser punchers. And that's what I always thought it was. Now, I'll give him some credit. He came out boxing very well. He did very good. However, this fight looked like a father, Macaulay, fighting his son, Anderson. You had the old man with the old man strength who's a little bit slower because he's a little bit older. And he's not quite hitting his son while his son's just dancing around him. He's got all the youth. He's got all the speed, and he just keep hitting him, tagging him. Boom, 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 boom. But those punches from the son have zero effect on the dad. And when the dad catches the son for the first time with a punch and the son feels what it's like to be hit by a grown-ass man, he folds. And that's what this fight was. It was just, it looked like a grown-ass man fighting a child. It looked like a fucking bear running up on a camper. Like, it just, as good as Anderson did, it, it really was, he just did good because Bacoli let him do good. Because Bacoli was never in any danger. Bacoli was never hurt. Bacoli never really had to box very well because everything that was being thrown at him had no effect. So he just walked through him, bided his time. He dropped him in the first round. Boop! And then he ended up finishing him. Now, you got to give Anderson all the credit in the world. While I did say I don't believe he had a chin, he did get up every single time. The referee had to wave it off. So you got to give him all the credit in the world for having heart. But with a guy who's always been one foot in, one foot out of boxing, saying that he didn't want to box forever, boxing is just, it is what it is for him. We'll have to see how he comes back from this loss. Because this could be the nail in the coffin for his career, at least on a higher level. The upper echelon, where he was allegedly going to, I never really saw it. If we're talking about fighters from America, I think Richard Torres is the guy up and coming that's going to be good. But that's yet to be seen as well, too. But anyways, if you saw the fight, let me know what you thought about it in the comment section below. Martin Bacoli. I don't know if I really want to see him fight Michael Hunter next. I mean, Michael Hunter's still been active. He's still fighting. If you want to get your L back, get your L back. But really, truthfully... Bruh, you should be getting in there with a Zane or like a Derek Chisora who's coming off a high. Be the big name and you could be right there in contention for a belt. Because um, at 32 years old, you ain't got a lot of time to keep fighting a lot of people. Like, win a belt, then fight Hunter. It doesn't matter. Hunter's always going to be there. That's an easy fight to make. That's an easy fight to get if you really want it. But with this type of win and now everybody knows who you are, you better like strike while the iron is hot, as they say. So I think he should go for a big name and try to beat a elite fighter. Not saying Chazor is an elite fighter, but he's a very good fighter because he always finds a way to remain in the top 10 globally ranked. He always gets big wins. He may lose, but he always comes back with nice wins. So that's who I would like to see Macaulay fight. The names that I mentioned, if you saw the fight, let me know what y'all thought about it in the comment section below. Do y'all think um, Anderson could come back? Or do y'all think this is the nail in the coffin for him?